Former High Court Judge Dyson Hayden is set to announce whether he's standing down as head of the Royal Commission into Trade Unions. His ruling has been delayed twice while he considers submissions from seven unions who have demanded his disqualification. They argue his decision to speak at a Liberal Party fundraiser has created a perception of bias, even though he withdrew from the event. The Federal Opposition says the Commission is tainted and it's been a waste of taxpayer money. The, the problem with the, the Royal Commission uh, as it stands now uh, is that it's $80 million of taxpayers' money uh, used by the government to pursue their political opponents. I don't think Australians okay. think that that's value for money, frankly. Tanya Plibersek there talking this morning. Our reporter, Anne Barker, is at the hearing and joins me now. So, Anne, first of all, how is this going to work today? What, what time does the decision come down? And have you heard if it's just going to be a document handed out or is Dyson Hayden actually going to read it out? Joe, it's not happening until 2pm this afternoon, which is a few hours later than the Commission normally sits. And uh, I haven't actually heard whether it will be a document. I imagine that the Commissioner will speak uh, to his decision. I mean, as you say, this is 10 days now since the ACTU and seven unions put their arguments to the Commissioner as to why they think he should step down. That was on last Friday week. Uh, he was originally supposed to hand down his decision on Tuesday last week. Then he uh, delayed that until Friday, saying that he wanted to take as much time as this decision required. And then uh, late last week, the unions uh, raised questions about new evidence they claimed that suggested the counsel assisting the commission jeremy stolger had also been part of the uh or had 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 contact with dyson hayden bef about the uh the speech that he'd agreed to give uh before the story first broke in mid-august uh and that delayed the decision until again today so it's 10 days uh of of waiting for this decision and and just before we spoke to you we heard from tanya plibersheck Tanya Plibersek, she was speaking this morning, uh, but the government has been a staunch defender of Dyson, Hayden and of the Commission itself. Absolutely. Tony Abbott has said this Commission should continue. And I mean, the big question is, if he does stand down, uh, who will replace him? It would be difficult for someone to come in with anything like the knowledge of what has been put to the Commission in the 16 months since it began. I mean, some are saying that even Jeremy Stoljar himself, the counsel assisting the Commission, as I mentioned, that he might be one person who could take over that role simply because he is one of the few people who has heard all the evidence and been involved with all the, uh, the cases that have been brought before the Commission. And that, that is a big question, just whether this Commission could continue at all. Certainly the unions are saying that, uh, that the whole thing should be shut down, that it has been a government witch hunt since it was set up. Okay. as we heard from Tanya Plibersek. OK, Ann Barker reporting there from Sydney. So, as Ann mentioned there, that happens at 2pm this afternoon, Australian Eastern Standard Time, and we'll bring you that live here on ABC News 24. Not clear at this stage if uh, Justice Dyson Hayden is actually going to read that out or not, but we'll be right across that this afternoon.